Thank you for joining me today in this overview on practice sets. Practice sets is a classroom feature that lets teachers transform their existing content into engaging interactive assignments. To create a new practice set or view your previous practice sets, you will find them in resources. Your resources tab will house all of your practice sets and interactive YouTube activities. If you want to see only your practice sets, select the drop down, hit practice sets, and then you will see all the practice sets that have previously been created. And you can select new practice set to create a new one. To put a previously created practice set in an assignment, just head to your class, classwork, create assignment, and then select practice set. This will open a tab of all your practice sets and then select the light bulb so that it turns yellow. You can edit the practice set or go ahead and attach. You will now see that assignment in assign. Let's run through building a new practice set. We'll head to resources, new practice set. First, let's give our practice set a title. This one is going to be our land forms quiz. We can enter our own questions, such as what is not a land form? And we can do a single select answer. Now that we've entered our question and answers, we want to make sure that we select the correct answer. We can also select skills for each question. We're going to select that this question is about the types of landforms, and that's the skill the student will need. We can also add resources. You can add your own resources that are saved in your Google Drive, or you can add hints. You can add up to 10 additional resources. We're going to say that we're going to give the students a hint that it's a natural feature. And if we want to see what that looks like for the student, we will select try as student. In our student view, we can see what the question would look like for the student. We can select the hint that we created. They have a show your work option. And they can check the answer to their question. And you can see the reaction the students will get when they select the correct answer. If you do not like the automated resources that are populated in your question, simply hit the X. You can also select extra help and you can search for other resources that you would like to add. You can also add your own resources by copying and pasting a YouTube URL directly into the question. You can now see that this video that we have grabbed from YouTube will come up in the resources for the student. When using the short answer option, the students must enter the exact answer that is put on the quiz or question. How many continents are there? And you can see with the short answer, it also gives us suggestions. Using the settings, you can allow equivalent answers and to ignore capitalization. You can also have two answers. So the students can write out seven or enter seven. Instead of entering questions one by one, you can import questions. PDFs that are stored in your Google Drive can be made into questions. We have this great land forms worksheet that will now become our quiz questions. I'm going to just 
make a box here and another one here another one here and we're going to import those three so you now see that each little clip is its own individual question And I can put identify the landform on each one. Now for our answer. And once we have entered all of our questions, we can hit done editing. Now our landforms quiz will be listed in our practice sets and we can use it for an assignment or a quiz in any of our classes. Along with being able to import PDFs into practice set questions, you can select the plus sign to the right to insert content and import questions from Google Forms you've created. After hitting the plus, your Google Drive will open. Then you can select a Google form to import questions. You'll click on the form, select import. I'll delete that top question. And now all of the questions and answers from my Google form are on my quiz. Now all of my questions and answers from my Google form are now in my practice set. After giving it a title, I can select done editing. And now my new practice set is listed in my resources. After our practice set has been assigned as coursework, we can view how the students did in our grades. Our practice set that was due today, our math test, will show us the insights on how our students did. This one shows us that many students got our problem eight incorrect, and they struggled with problems one, two, and six. The dark green check mark shows us that the student got the answer correct the first time. The light green shows that it took two or more attempts for the student to get the answer correct. If it's red, the student submitted the assignment without selecting or knowing the correct answer. You can also assign grades. So we can see for this student, they got seven out of 10. So unfortunately, they will get a 70. And then you can grade each one. And then we can return them all. You can click on the question number and view each answer your student had. Since most of our students got problem eight incorrect, this allows us to see what answer they thought it was. You can also look by individual student and scroll through their submission. You can provide private comments such as see me. Now back in our Google Classroom, we can see that we have four graded. We are still accepting submissions and the grades each student has. You can also view this in your grades tab. Thank you for joining me on this overview on practice sets in your Google Classroom.